I wish my butthole smelled like strawberry. Hey guys, it's Brie, and today we did an impromptu trip to Baton Rouge, and I was so excited. So let me explain how this happened. It was a Friday, a random Friday in my life, and maybe it was like 4 o'clock, and somebody had put on Facebook that Build-A-Bear had My Little Pony. So let me just stop and say, when I was a little kid, I was obsessed with My Little Pony. Like, not what they have now with the big crazy eyes. It didn't look like that. Not at all. If you want to see real My Little Pony, go back to the 80s and watch that stuff because that was the bomb.com. It was amazing. And I collected all of them when I was a kid. And of course, like everything else in my life, Hurricane Katrina took all my ponies. And I had like the big stuffed animals. I had everything My Little Pony Rainbow Bright growing up. So I saw and I was like, oh my gosh, can we please go to Build-A-Bear? Sidebar, Build-A-Bear, when I was 16, my very, very first job was at Build-A-Bear in New Orleans, and I worked there for four years, and I literally worked there until the day Hurricane Katrina happened. So I have a very soft spot in my heart for Build-A-Bears, and of course, when I came back from Hurricane Katrina, all my stuffed animals and things had mold on them. So literally, I lost 40, 50 Build-A-Bears because I worked there, so I owned them all naturally. So two of the things that I had lost during Katrina were available well, in one thing right in front of my eyes. And I was like, oh, can we please go? Can we please go to Build-A-Bear? Side sidebar, <laughs> Build-A-Bear in New Orleans, the one that I opened, I was literally the first person that Build-A-Bear in New Orleans hired the day they opened, like for their opening crew. So the only one they have is in Baton Rouge. So it would literally be a two hour drive to go get a 28 year old A stuffed My Little Pony. So most people <laughs> would tell their 28 year old fiance, no, we're not driving two hours to get you a toy. But Nick is awesome and Nick said, yeah, we have nothing else to do this Friday night. Let's go buy a toy. <laughs> so that's what we did. We went away to the Build-A-Bear workshop in Baton Rouge in the Mall of Louisiana and I got my little pony. I'm so excited. So even at my age, I still love stuffed animals and you know, I don't have children of my own, so I can be a big kid and be unapologetic about it. And I think she's really, really cute. And inside, this is a new thing we couldn't do in, what, 2002? When I started working at Build-A-Bear? You could put a scent inside. So I put strawberry in her butt, so her butt smells like strawberries. And it really, it smells like a strawberry from Ponchatoula. It smells like Ponchatoula Fest strawberry fest it smells so good but she's really cute this is how i wear my hair when it's around the house so i just put her hair up in a crazy wilson i call this hair dude the wilson that's another story and she has little wings and i told the guy at build i was like i used to work here and i know how to make a really good bear so you better do it right and he made it super super soft so i'm definitely snuggling with this cute little guy um when i go to bed at night doesn't that sound like a great idea yeah it sounds like a good idea to me so I, I love her and I think she's so soft and she smells divine and I named her Glitter Sparkles Raindrop Sunshine because I thought that was a good pony name. Isn't it a good pony name? And I like her rainbow hair. I wish I had rainbow hair. Like for real life, if my hair grew out of my head like that, I'd be so excited. And while we were in Baton Rouge, we got a couple other things. And I'm going to show you. I got this jacket and it's like a Letterman jacket and it has a B on it. How cute is that? And it's pink and blue. And you guys know pink is my favorite color ever. And oddly enough, on the sleeve, it says B Team 28. And I am 28 years old. So it says B and 28. So I was like, uh, I have to have this. And it was $20. And I love hoodies, especially for the fall. And it buttons up rather than like go over your head and mess up your do. It buttons. So I thought that was super cool. I was so excited. It's my initial. And they only had a B and an H. So I don't know what that means. I don't know why Forever 21 would come out with a bunch of B sweatshirts. But they were B sweatshirts. So I have one. And I have an old one from them when they randomly did something with a big B on it. Maybe the like company creator had a B name. I don't know. But I was super excited. And then it just gets better. 
So just for fun, I was like, let's go and journey kids. They had a sale on Chucks. Ah, you guys know, Chucks are my favorite shoe. I have the navy blue ones and I got them actually in Baton Rouge on my 18th birthday. The only thing I wanted were Chuck Taylors and they had purple ones and I wear a size one in kids because I have baby feet and they had these for $16. For some reason nobody's showing love to the purple Chucks. So they had them on sale and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to own them. And how cute will these be for Mardi Gras? with some like green pants and a gold shirt. I just, I'm so excited. So uh, $20 sweatshirt, $16 shoes. Um, my little pony was 25 and then I forgot how much the scent was in her butt. It smells so good. We literally put it right there. So if you smell her rainbow lightning cloud butthole, it smells like strawberries. I wish my butthole smelled like strawberries. How much fun would that be? That is from my Baton Rouge haul. It's three things and I was just so excited I had to come show you. So um, if you have three random things that you love, whether it be new or old, just post them in the down bar because I think it's fun. And if you want to create a video response, any video response, I encourage you to do so and you can leave it as a video response to me and I'll watch it because I am a loyal YouTuber and I love watching my friends on YouTube and it could be anything. If this is the first video that you make and you just say, hey, Brie inspired me to talk about my favorite toy or whatever it is, or you can tell me about your favorite toy when you're a kid since I told you about mine, you can comment video response but videos are such a fun outlet for me. And you guys know I love making videos and I love talking to you guys. So I encourage everyone to do a video response to me and we can keep this conversation going. It'd be so much fun. And that is all for this mini haul. Rate, comment, subscribe below. See you next time. Bye.